Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, I've been naughty and I've splurged. I've brought some colouring books, I've got some supplies and I've got some gorgeous gifts to share with you too. So, strap yourselves in, get yourself a drink and get ready for the ride because I want to show you these gorgeous things that I've brought to bring to the channel. Let me come in a little bit. So, you'll have seen this before. I've done it and you knew that I had it in my book collection. However, I messed it up with ink tents when I was first learning to colour. Um, this is The Magical Journey by Lizzie Mary Cullen. Now, we did do a Christmas one in her Christmas book. We did a colour along. But I love this book. I just love it. And I want to, wanted it pristine copy so I could practice in the other one and we can do colour alongs together without me feeling hang on I do apologise without me feeling um, so stressed out about it um, and I want a, I want a beautiful copy why not why not people indeed and I know you guys love Lizzie Mary Cullen and I know they look difficult but when you break them down into the little elements they are such magical beautiful books so, I mean, look. So you've got some simpler ones. You've got New Zealand, New Zealand bound. Um, and this is so Lizzie Mary Cullen going on a journey. And she features in some of the... In some of the images. As does her little puppy dog. There he is. Her little puppy dog. So I love, I love these books. And um, just a pleasure to have, to be lucky enough to have the second copy. So I got Lizzie Mary Cullen's The Magical Journey. Excuse the pile here, I was doing a colour along but it went very, very wrong. So, then I went ahead and I got a collection of three books here. Um, by, I've got this one, this one and this one by, oh, I'm such a rubbish person. I can't remember her name. Why can't I remember her name? And you'll all be screaming at me. Where is it? Where is her name? I'm so sorry. I will link everything down below and name her. So this is a collection of three books. They're German books, but available on Amazon UK. Um, let me find a book for you to compare it to. If I get, um, yeah, if I get Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, and I put Ivy here, this is the English edition, but it's the same size as the American, and put these books here, you can see the kind of sizing that they are. And I saw these on um, Kay's channel, and... Um, Imogen's channel and different ones featured and they I fell in love with them so that soft card cover and at the back there is um, a hard cardboard cover and they're just glue bound here so you could pull them out and mount them so you're going to have to be very careful with it if you want to keep it as a book they've got tips and tricks in the front but um, unless you Google Translate, I am not going to know what they say. But they have got a quote on one side. I'm going to try not to squash it down because I don't want to fall it apart. I don't want it to fall, fall apart before I've even started. And this is... Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry I can't remember her name. Let me see, give me one second, I'm going to put it in um, my, I'll keep flipping, um, I'm going to put it in my search, wait a minute. Right, here it is. I'm just going to try and find some beautiful person that will have done a flip through and can tell me. Oh, no. 
Oh, it's going to bug me. Look, I'm going to go off. Pause. I'm going to pause for one second. I'm going to find the name. Wait one second. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, the football has started downstairs. It's... What time is it? Ten past eight and I'm exhausted. I do apologise. The name of the artist of these books is Ursula Swab. I just couldn't get it out. But if you like Circle of Life, this is what it remind, reminded me of a little bit. Obviously without the circles, but let me bring you in even closer. So I'm not worried about the quote on the back. So you could use alcohol markers or something that might risk to bleed through. So I'm thinking... <laughs> ink tents. The paper's good quality actually. I'm thinking ink tents or better still the gift of graphite tints and um, uh, colour tints. So we could use water medium in here and not worry about it and I certainly wouldn't mind. Isn't it beautiful? It's just, look at that, I love that, the sunrise, the flowers, all in a border. And I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it on Kay's channel and um, Imogen's channel. I was like, yeah, I have to have it. I've got to have it. So, yeah, knowing Lucy and her full set syndrome. I mean, just look. It's just adorable. I love it. Look at that little beaver. Isn't he cute? Sloth. It's just beautiful. So, I got that one. Then I got um, this garden one by the same artist. This is Ursula Swab as well. And the front of the books are all the same, give you like hints and tips. It is glue bound again, so you're going to need to be quite careful. But this is all like in a garden. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love it and we can sparkle it up, we can watercolour it, we can do whatever we like because it's single sided and they're just the most, sorry if I'm going too fast, they are just, oh look at that, they are just the most beautiful images. So just be careful because like I say it's glue bound, I'm assuming that it's so that it's easy to take out and frame. I love it. There's some like mandala -y ones but they're different to normal mandalas. It's like a little gnome holding this street light. I just, yeah, I fell in love with them and, and I had to do the set. Look at that. So, that's the garden one by Ursula Swab. And then this is, um, this is a winter one. These were £7, if I remember correctly, on Amazon. Really good quality. Just be careful, like I say. So this is um, my, win my Winter World. Um, and there are some, let me just centralise that, some equally adorable winter pages in here. Advent calendar, advent candles, look at it, it's just the cutest thing in the world. Ooh. New shoes, so, oh that's nice. And you know us and our Christmassy, wintry scenes. Has to be done, people. Aren't they gorgeous images? Merry Christmas. Christmas tree. So I haven't really flipped through them properly. I, I watched as many flip throughs as I could find on um, YouTube. I'm just, I love her style, so I just thought, do you know what, I'm going for it. We're going to have them for the channel. I love them. I like winter. Little llama. Yeah, there's a snail all tucked up. Yeah, it's beautiful. They're just really cute, cute, gorgeous Im images, but like us, oh, I like that one. Just be careful in case 
your pages fall apart and you don't want them to. So that is Ursula Swab's Mine or My Winter World. Absolutely adorable, adorable books. Okay, right now. I'm gonna move out ready for this one. Okay, so I happened I happened, I don't know how, I think my finger slipped, and I happened upon Amazon Japan. It happened. <laughs> and I fell in love with the Nelco Nico colouring book. And this, um, I was enabled by the wonderful Karen, who did a colour along doing this kitty at the front. And it's very similar to Kanoko Agusa's style books. The paper is beautiful. Let me curl, let me get you and come in just a little bit. If I cut a bit of the image off, I do apologise, but this is the family. And on Karen's channel, she, she talks you through, she's done the translation and she talks you through them. So, um, and you can see her colour this one. She's already done this one and she shows you how to do this one. Um, it is just beautiful. Paper again is gorgeous paper, like Kanuko Agusa's paper, I would say. But isn't it cute? Look at that. Mm, look at those cakes. I can't have cakes. My diet is going very well. I've lost a stone, folks, in weight. Um, and I am doing really well. So I can look and dream at cakes. Oh look, it's like in the style of... I need to come out a little bit, Lucy. Just a little bit. It's in the style of Alice. What do you think, people? You've probably already seen the flip through, but my goodness, isn't it? Look at that one. Isn't it beautiful? Some very, very detailed pages like these two. <sighs> and then the twins. Isn't it? It's just lovely and it goes through the season. So this is now autumn So you can choose pages to fit your mood or your season if you like to so if you like to color Seasons as they go So we're now in the winter one. So this must be Christmas. Yeah Christmas pages. Isn't this cute? So I would like to do Christmas in July what do you think let me know please in the comments if you want to do Christmas in July um, we've got colouring books that we started last um, we started last Christmas we did um, what did we do which was our favourite it was this um, this one the time before Christmas we started and we everyone loved it by John O'Brien if you hadn't seen this on my channel and we did I think we did this one or I did it on my own I can't remember I think we did it together yeah we did do it together I did it with Pablo's and then we did another one that was we copied the image from the back and we did this Santa together <laughs> and it's just the most adorable book and I'd love to go back to it so please let me know in the comments if we should do Christmas in July so we've got an array of gorgeousness to choose from. And why just stick to why just stick to December? I mean really, we'd never get through them anyway, would we, if we didn't? Look at this glossy cover. Oh, there we are. Story of Precious Cats. It's got the English name on it. There we go. I will link all these down below so that you it's got some little colouring tags there. Let's see what the front cover's like. There we go, it's got Circus Troop on the back, but the, the title of it is The Story of Precious Cats by Nelco Nico. Thank you, Karen. She enables me quite a lot. <clears throat> and then, Connie is to blame for this one. Yes, our lovely Connie. And Karen, because I think Karen's shown this one. No, I don't know whether she has or not, but I know Connie has. And it's just paper in this is real thick, beautiful cardstock. I'm afraid I don't know what it's called. Let's have a look underneath the cover. No, 
It's just a book that I recognise. <laughs> I don't even recognise the author. But if you put in colouring book in Amazon Japan, this will come up. And I will link it down below. Um, like I say, thick, gorgeous paper. Now, what I liked about this is you get like a, a tiny bit of grayscale and then line art. So you get the cutest images. Not all of them have got a little bit of grayscale, but look at him. And then this is line art. So it's just a very unusual book, but absolutely, oh, we've done tulips. We could use our same color combos for those, couldn't we? And our little hedgehog dude down the bottom here, isn't he cute? The whole book is spectacular. And like I say, the paper is really thick really thick I wouldn't even like to say I would say well I'm I'm flicking a bit of 110 card and this is much thicker than that so it's look at that it's just stunningly beautiful um, look look at those eyes can you see what I mean by how precious and beautiful it is? I love it. So yeah, so this this um, had to happen, I'm afraid. I had to bring it to you. It, I didn't buy it for myself. No, 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 no. Bought it for the channel. <laughs> okay. So um, then I found, finally, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is Kanoko Agusa's Menu, Menu de Bonheur, that one. And um, I've wanted it since Dee Dee Willingham coloured in it and did such a gorgeous job of it. Let me just move this little tab. So this is Kanoko Agusa, again Amazon Japan. And this is, I'm not sure whether this is the first or second one in the series. We coloured in Rhapsody, didn't we, the other day? Well, I got this from Amazon Japan at a very reasonable reasonable price. Um, and um, cuts out the delivery cost, I can tell you, from Etsy. So if you've been after this book, I will link Amazon Japan down below. And you will be able to get hold of it. Brand new, beautifully packaged copy that... Oh, is just incredible and I've wanted this for such a long time so I am now in love with Amazon Japan when they ship stuff they put it in the bottom of a cardboard box and put plastic over it um, so it can't move about and it won't get wet and it's absolutely it comes in absolutely pristine condition I just had like deja vu I I'm hoping that I haven't shown you these. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Uh, if I have, I apologise. If I have already shown you these books, I do apologise. But they've been sat next to me. Dee Dee coloured this one, and it's one of her favourite ever colourings, and she did an incredible job. Um, if they have, I apologise. They will have been put on my pile to show you, and I've messed up. So, yeah, isn't, isn't it incredible? Look at that one. Not good when you're on a diet, but look, hey. Wow. Okay. Let's, so we've got Halloween. I don't know if we've got any Christmassy ones. I bet we have. There's usually, yeah, there's a Christmassy one. There's a Christmas tree. So we've got Christmassy ones in this too. It's just divine. It really is absolutely glorious. So, now I've broken the back of Kanoko as a goose of colouring, I thought we'd give it a go. Now, the next three books I'm going to show you came as Happy Mail, and I have no idea who sent them to me. If it was you, please email me so that I can thank you in person, because uh, I just don't know who sent them to me, and I'm so, so grateful. So... This wonderful person sent me Jasmine Beckett Griffith's book, A Fantasy Art Adventure. Yes, I have this one, but I started colouring it when I was learning to colour and I hated what I'd coloured in it. 
and I put this back on my wish list for me to get and um, somebody so kindly brought it for me and let's see the next three books that I'm going to show you all came together with no gift tag so I have no way of knowing which wonderful person sent them to me so please email me if you did because I'm so grateful um, so now I have I coloured this one originally but I would love to try it again now I've got a little bit more experience um, they're just incredible images, Jasmine's work, and the paper is divine. The polychromos work really well in it. So, yeah. So I, I was lucky enough to be sent that one. And then, this I'm assuming it's the same person, because they all came at the same time. So then this person sent me Benny Blue. Now, we coloured in Benny Blue too, because I got that as Happy Mail. Um, but I haven't got Benny Blue, and he is, this is by Christine Karen, if you didn't know, he is the most beautiful little character in the whole world. Look at him. And yet you've got all that scenery outside the diner window. Can you see him? I'll bring you in a bit closer, because he is just so divine. Look at him. He's just... And I've even got the colour combinations. I use the Joe Pro Colours. So I've even kept the colour combinations that I used for him. I just love him. Look. Isn't he cute? Who couldn't love him? Oh dear. He's poorly. And that one. Isn't that lush? I love that picture. So Benny, Bo Benny Blue by Christine Karen. And then... This might have something to do with why I said, shall we do Christmas in July, people? All these Christmas pages. This came with it too. Um, this is uh, Alina Lazareva's Christmas Time in grayscale. And you won't believe the images that are in here. Well, you would. It's Alina's. So look at it. It is just the cutest thing on earth. I mean, look at that. I love the innocence of Christmas. It makes me so excited and I have such fond memories of Christmas time that um, it makes you that all warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it? Aren't they cute, those beautiful fairies? It's a lovely, lovely book. So if you are responsible for this beautiful gift or gift, sir, please get in touch with me. Look at that. Is it with news? I would love to thank you properly. And then you get a second set of the pages. So, how lucky are we? I love this one too. I love that Christmas scene. So, thank you so much if you sent those to me. Then, where did I put? Okay, right. Then I was sent... These, and now I've taken them out of the box. These are the Stedler Tinted Watercolour Pencils. So these are like graphy tint. Now, my lovely friend um, Nikki sent me these, um, and I swatched them for you. Let me bring those back in here so you know. They are gorgeous to work with. So what I did was put, um, these are the graphy tints here, then I put the, um, let's come in, uh, these are the graphy tints, Derwent, these are the um, colour tints by Spectrum Noir, and then I put the Stedler ones, which are from this 12 set, here. Now, by looking at them all, look at the, the colour blends that you can get. So you, these are like much deeper colours, but of the versions we've got here. So we get the very light ones with the um, colour tints, more of a darker tone with the graphy tints, and then these by Stedler are beautiful. They dissolve amazingly, and they're so creamy. As soon as you put them down on paper, you would never know that they are um, watercolours. Now, here's my pencil case. So if I come back out... Whoop, that's in Lucy. If I come back out, you remember my little five pound case that we all raved about? I put um, 
all of them in here. So these are the these are the Stedlers that Nikki sent. Um, they are I don't know what they they um, I don't know how many sides they've got on them. Can't count. But they are not going to roll about on your desk. They've got sides on. Um, so this is what they look like close up. They're very thin. They don't have colour names, but what they do have, oops, sorry, what they do have is a code, if you can see that, it says G2 on this one. They have um, a code, so you can write the name down. This is the um, colour tint by Spectrum Noir, and then you'll see the Stegler. So, quite a lot thinner. They've got dip tens, so you've got an idea of the colour, or cap tens. Um, but these three sets all together are just beautiful. They like complement each other. But these are they're like cream. They're so they're buttery. They're gorgeous to colour with. And if I put that back in there, so you've got a code so you can identify them. If I get my water brush, bring you back in. That's that little bit I've just scribbled on. Look at that immediately, and that's just on cheap photocopy paper, they immediately dissolve as soon as water hits them. So I'm looking forward to using this these sets together. Um, so they've all gone in my little bumblebee case that we had. So I'll put those to one side and we can, oh, I keep bringing you in and out. Okay, so they are the Stedler Tinted Watercolour Pencils. Um, it says Design Journey on the front. And then you've got just a, like three pictures on the back. But I will link them down below if I can find them again. So these were from Nikki and I am so grateful. Um, you guys, you're incredible. You really are. Thank you so much. So, when I got home from work, I've still got more stuff that I've purchased, but when I got home from work, I have to show you this. I had a card that has been handmade and was sent to me all the way from Canada. Now, you wait till you see this. Look at this. Look at that. I need to bring it up so you can see. Look at that. Can you see the shine and glitter on it? Isn't it beautiful? It's absolutely incredible. And on the back, it's been, it says, created by Lou. I won't read you inside, because um, it was, it's a private note. It's absolutely, it's just thanking me for the channel. Um, and this is from Louise. Louise, I've got your return email. I will stick a card in the post to you. Thank you so much. It's beautiful. Um, and it's just... The, the fact that you sat and made this for me by hand, thinking of me while you were doing it, is is just incredible. And I love it. And in front of me, just here on the wall, is a, I've got a notice board. And um, I will peg this, using my little pegs, up on the notice board. Because I love the image. I just love it. The little girl and her rabbit. And I presume you've inked this and stamped it because it's just stunning. Thank you so much Louise. So I'm going to put that there on my notice board because I keep all my little precious bits and bobs like that. I've got a card that Sammy sent me. Right, so then you know I did my moon thing um, in my colouring pages where, I don't know if I've got it to hand, um, where is it? A million few animals where I did the moon in there I did it with the Kurataki Kansai Town the gold paints um, I wanted some more paints to try water doing water with that so I brought the um, pearl colors Calero ocean set now these are a lot more expensive, I think this was 20 something pounds, I've got hair stuck on it, <laughs> 20 something pounds for this set. And these are the colours you get in it, I'll try and tilt it so you don't get 
blue pearl, green pearl, blue silver, blue green, moss green and midnight blue. And I coloured my Tim Jeff's fish with one of the tint colours. So you get that like swatch, but I've done my own as you do. And look at the, can you see the shine on? They are beautiful, but I was expecting, I don't know, for an ocean set, I was ex expecting more blues. But if you look at these like these, it was one of these, I can't remember which, this one I think, that I put on my bluefin tuna that I did. But they are very shiny, but I'm not as impressed with these as I am the Chirataki Gansai Tambi ones, to be fair. But, um, so I want some, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be getting some lighter blues for those. So that was the um, Calero Ocean set. Um, and then, there's not much more folks, I've got some stencils, let's, let's close this. And I'm most excited um, about this little guy. Now, this little packet is a five stage moon stencil. So let's get him out and have a look because I haven't even looked at him yet. So, if I bring you in so you can see, Hopefully you can see the back of this. So you've got five steps to doing this moon. Like this. Oh, I'm going to have to come back out again. I'm such a doobat, sorry. And then, so you kind of layer it up. You can layer it up and you get the little dots so you could put pins through them to make sure that they sit right. Look at this one. I don't know... There's no picture on the front, but if I put them like this, you can kind of get the picture. And I think, if I remember correctly, there's numbers on them somewhere. Or at least I thought there was, unless I've imagined it. I thought I could have sworn there was numbers on them. But, so... You'd have to just lay them down, layer them up, depending on the look you want. I presume that would go there. And then you'd go on top. Do you see what I mean? So you can get different effects. Quite like that one, because it's got the... Um, can you see the crater in it there? So I was really excited about that. So I've got... Um, I can even have where you leave the page white and go round the edge. Very, very cool. Not expensive. It's actually quite cheap. Four layering moon, full moon stencils, plus a bonus full moon mask. So your bonus full moon mask is the cutout, basically. They've given you the circle, and the bonus is the circle that they've cut out. So how very kind. There we are, look, it actually is. <laughs> so I'm quite excited to use my inks with that. I could have sworn they were numbered, but... Obviously not. So I'll put those to one side. Now, apologies if I've shown you this. I don't know whether I have or not. I'm not sure whether I've shown you this or not. This is... I got it to do water. This one. It's like a marble effect. And it just happened to come with the basket weave one as well, which will also be handy for inks and these are the one these are why I got them is because I've obviously you if you've watched my channel you'll have seen that I've been I purchased the Tim Jeff's inks and I've got the set and I've got um, the um, the new the one color that I didn't have the patina is it so yeah I'll put those away afterwards I've got that then I got this one again for water and some snow. That's very exciting. And then I'm I'm oh yes, this one. This is look at this. <gasps> you know our um you know our wax crayons. I'm gonna have a go at at doing this with those um 
water soluble wax crayons you know the ones that i did the review on when um, a subscriber said about neo colors being too expensive these gorgeous ones so i think on a black background using those over the top with that or even stenciling on i don't know acrylic chalk whatever that is going to look incredible so what does it say anything carmen melvin so but i will link them all below and then i got this guy because i can't draw to save my life and it happened to come with some round ones but look at the moons if i lay it on here you should be able to see so we're going to get crescent moons however where you want them and whatever size isn't that cool and then it just came along with the extra circle ones so we could use those for different backgrounds too but i had a, i've got a, obviously got a bit of thing about moons since as i managed to work out how to do my um oh i'm sorry about the rustle i'll wait till afterwards um how to do my kuritaki one that i just showed you um then i got this this is Kay's fault entirely and these these are Kay's fault entirely so i don't know if I, I'm, I'm sorry if i've shown them but the cosmic um glitter pastes which i have used and adore so look at that oh, they are just so beautiful and then this one can you pick up that shimmer in them Kay uses these all the time and i fell in love with these two colors so these are warm gold and aurora sparkle and these are cosmic shimmer again amazon thank you Kay. and then this is entirely kate's Kay's fault she got happy mail from the art spirits um there we are and i will link it down below and she was showing them and it comes in this gorgeous box i've brought two because i can't possibly dare to run out this is what i got i got a full pan of true silver rebecca's true silver rebecca is the name she has a channel as well a youtube channel and with each one she sends you these really cute little tiny bottles look how tiny they are they're so cute full of confetti love that pink one so i'll show you what they what this paint looks like because i have used it in a coloring book and oh wow just wow i wanted a silver one and when Kay showed this i thought i have to have it so i got two because i'm greedy like that this is it look at it look at that silver oh my god this is the Gansai Tambi that I was telling you about. And then this is um, Rebecca's Silver. This one. And it's just, oh, I've never seen a silver watercolour paint like it. Absolutely incredible. So thank you, Kay. Right, if you're still with me, I'm going to leave this in front. Thank you so much. There's a couple of things I want to say. Number one is that my sister has started a YouTube channel. Um, it's called Rebecca's Life Larder and she's going to do, she's doing vlogging, talking about her life and um, makeup and bits and pieces and um, I will link her down below. You can see her face on camera and I'm sure you'll love her just as much as I love her. Um, please go over and say hello to her. She's fairly new and, the, and last time I looked she had 120 something subscribers. So one of the videos she did the other uh, the other day was she got um, sort of healthy food kick, same as me, trying to bust that gut, and um, she unpacked her shopping, uh, her healthy food shopping on her video and was talking about. It. She did a sunscreen video, and she's um, she's absolutely brilliant and hilariously funny. But I need to put a warning in there, folks. She um, does occasionally drop an f bomb. So a bit of swearing in her, her her channel sometimes. So if you're adverse to swearing, 
don't shout at me if you go over and she said an F word. Um, but I'm sure you'll love her just as much as I do. And the other thing I wanted to say, remind you of, is please let me know. I'm going to have to go, my battery's running out. Please let me know if you want to do a Christmas colour along. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. Um, take really good care of yourselves, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.